okay i welcome you all for to watch the video of uh, error detection and correction methods so there are several types of error detection methods so the number one is uh, vertical redundancy check so during error detection we are adding one redundant bit to the original data so the various types of detecting error is vertical redundancy check longitudinal redundancy check checksum then we are having separate division rule okay so first we will uh, see about that uh, vertical redundancy check here this is a sender and this is the receiver so this is a data sent by the sender so 110011 totally seven bits are there so it uses two types of parity odd parity and even parity so if it is a odd parity means the number of ones represents the odd value and even parity means the number of ones is even value okay so now the total number number of ones here is 112345 so it is a odd number okay so we should add one extra bit of one to make it as even number of ones okay so while you are checking the bits number of ones if it is add means we are adding one extra bit to the original data now this original data plus this redundant bit that has been sent to the receiver side now after the receiver receives this data so he counts the number of ones so that's the count number of ones in data plus this vertical redundancy check then the parity checkers identify whether this data has to be accepted or rejected okay so if the, if it is not the number of ones equal to one as a even number means it simply reject the data so in the data if the number of ones is even means it accepts the data so this is the first method and it is like a, a single dimensional method now we move to the next method of longitudinal redundancy check simply they call it as lrc so here they are provided with a 32 bits so we can make the 32 bits in a four types okay so here it can be arranged in a matrix format okay in a two dimensional because this method is called as a two dimensional parity okay so the total 32 bits has been placed in four streams okay so now in a column wise we should count the number of ones if the number of ones is even numbers means we put zero if the number of ones is odd means we put one so here you can see that uh, uh, we just placing this value here this value here and this one here and this one here as they mentioned okay then now count the number of ones here the number of ones is four so four is a even number so we make it as zero now here you count the number of ones the number of ones is 3 so 3 is a odd number so we keep a one here okay so likewise we should complete it so after finding this redundant row we just add this redundant row with the original data as they mention here okay so the receiver receiving this original data plus this parity bit generated by this longitudinal redundancy check the third method is checksum so here we are provided with a 32 bit data so in that data we are having four segment so that is denoted by k and for each segment we are having eight bits that is denoted by m equal to 8 first we are taking this 1 and 2 and we performing normal binary addition so normal binary addition we are performing okay so that 1 plus 0 is 1 0 plus 1 1 So zero plus zero, one plus zero, one plus zero, zero one, zero one, and while adding these two, we can get one plus one, zero sum, and carry one. So we should add this carry with this answer. Okay. So now we get an output. With this output, now we are going to add the third stream. Okay. Again, we get one output. Okay. So with this output, we move with the fourth stream so now we have taken the fourth stream and add perform the binary addition again now we can get one output so that output we call it as sum okay so this is that sum that what we obtain here okay so after that we should take complement for this sum okay so that is the check sum okay so for the output value of this sum we are taking complement so that complement can be called as this check sum okay so now with the original data 
we are sending this checksum value to the receiver okay now the same procedure will be repeated in the receiver side so 1 and 2 we are taking performing the binary addition if there is a carry means we should add that with the output value again we have taken the third one then perform with the fourth one if it is a carry means we should add with this output then again finally we are having one output okay so this is that final output we are getting in this receiver side after adding the four streams okay then we should take this checksum and we should add with this output value obtained from the after performing the four streams okay now with this output we are adding this checksum that sent by the sender okay so in the sum we are getting all ones so when we take complement for this value it should be all zeros then only this data is accepted and error free okay so this is the method of checksum error detection so it is of simply we have divided the bit stream into four then for every stream first we should add one and two then if there is a carry means we should again add with the output value then that with third one then fourth one we get on output so we should take complement for this sum that we call it as checksum this checksum should be sent by the sender to the receiver as a redundant bit stream okay so after after performing this four stream additions we are getting one output so we adding this checksum with this output okay so we getting all ones okay so then if we take complement means all becomes zero so then only the data will be accepted this cyclic redundancy check we call it as crc so the crc mainly of k minus 1 bits so k here denotes this divisor so if it is a 4 bits means here the crc may be 3 bits so with the original data they are provided in the problem take the input data then with the input data we are adding three zeros so why we are adding three means so in the divisor we are having four bits so four minus one is three so this is that crc bits now we perform the modulo 2 binary addition which is nothing but the xr gate so if you are putting one means one zero zero one so one one is zero 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 one zero is one 0, 1 is 1. Okay. So, this is based on that XR gate operation. So, we can perform this operation. So, until we can reach the final stage. So, here we obtain this 0, 1, 1. Okay. So, this is that remainder. While performing the division rule, we get the remainder as 0, 1, 1. Okay. So, now in the receiver side, we should replace these three zeros with this remainder value of 0, 1, 1. Okay. Now, again, we should perform this same modulo 2 binary operation. Okay. Now, we can get the final output as all zeros. If it is all zeros means, then only there will be no error and the receiver accept the data completely. So, here, overall, we are performing the modulo 2 operation, binary operation that is similar to of XR gate. Okay. So, that 1 on 0, 1 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, but here in this case of checksum, we are performing normal binary addition. Okay, here it is equal to that of XR operation of 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 and 1, 1 is 0. Okay, so these are the methods of detecting the errors. Thank you. Correction method. So for error correction, we go with the Hamming code. So in this Hamming code, we are provided with the data stream of 7 bits. Okay, so... For the 7 bits, we are going to add the 4 redundant bits. Okay, so the total number of redundant bits here is 4. So the total number of bits can be find as 7 plus 4 as 11. Okay, now, so this is the position of the Hamming code, number order. So 1 to 11. So here in this position of R1, R2, R4, and R8, we should add our redundant bits. Okay, so this is how we should find the value of the redundant bits. So, for to find the value of R1, we should take 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, their positions and find out the number of 1s, okay. So, if the number of 1s is not even means, we should position 1 here, okay. If the number of 1s for the 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, if you combine the positions, the total number of 1s is even means, we can make this R1 as 0. Now, consider for this. Here in this position, the 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. 
So for 3, 1 is there. So for 5, 0. And again, 7, that 1 is there. So 2 ones. So for 9, again 1 one is there. So 3 ones in position 11, 1. So 4 ones are present here. So the value of R1 is equal to 0. Okay. Now you consider for this R2, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11. The same positions like this. So 3, 6, 7, 10 and 11. Okay. For R4, you should take 5, 6, 7 and for R8, you should take 9, 10, 11. So count the number of ones. If it is even means, you should take 0 for that value. If it is an odd number of ones means, you should replace that run bit as 1. So this is the procedure of finding the error correction in having code. Thank you for watching the video.